Good morning, Pastor Steve here. Isaiah 42, 16, I will bring the blind by a way they knew not. I will lead them in paths that they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked things straight. These things will I do unto them and not forsake them. Last time we noted that God is um, the one who has to have complete justice. We noted that he alone can know the hearts of people, and he alone is qualified to judge. But in the story I referred to by C.S. Lewis from the Chronicles of Narnia, as the children have been brought into the house of the little family of beavers there, they hear of Aslan, the great king, and Mrs. Beaver says that Aslan's a lion, the lion, the great lion. Ooh, said Susan. I thought he was a man. Is, is he quite safe? I shall feel rather nervous about meeting a lion. Safe? said Mrs. Beaver. Who said anything about safe? Of course he isn't safe, but he's good. He's the king, I tell you. So although God is mighty and demands justice, he also is merciful and very willing to lead people into right paths. Again, I need to say it's our task to point to those right paths, the right path, if you will. Jesus plainly stated that he is the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father but by him. I like that John refers to him in 1 John as our advocate, our defense attorney. And when we blow it, when we sin, he pleads our case. Jesus demonstrates the love of God by facing the judgment that we deserve and being the one who makes darkness light before them and crooked things straight. These things will I do unto them, he says, and not forsake them. He satisfied the justice of God for sinners. All that is left is for any who will to receive the grace of God. So, no, he's not a tame lion, but he's good. He's the king, you see. You ponder that.